I'm here at Cunning Old Machine with Kelly, and we're going to talk Matsura because Kelly, you've got a shop with a lot of other five axis. How'd you end up with a Matsura? Yeah, we, we have quite a few others. Uh, honestly, the, the Matsura deal was the PC10 right behind you. The integration of that tool and uh, the interface here, that's yeah. what made the decision for us. It's all built in, it's all one screen, and it happens in one place versus bolting on stuff that's not theirs. Yeah, it's great. So you went with Matsura, you love the PC10, the, the, the bolt on for the pallet changing and all of that. But what kind of difference has that actually made for you in your shop? You're used, your Continental machine's been here since what, 1965? 65, yes sir. So you guys have been in the business for a while. What has this made possible for you? What it's done for us is help throughput in quality, to be okay. honest. Those are important in a machine shop. Yep. yep. So what I was looking for with our other five axes without pallet pools was something that we could set up a job, get it into quality, get an FAI going on it and start setting up the next job on the same machine, yeah. have it ready and just start that flow state of turning around parts in there and keeping my guys busy out here. We're high mix, low volume. Yeah. So most people think the pallet pool is for lights out only and production and everything, but we're using it for high mix, low volume and onesie twosie parts. Yeah, so what industries are you tackling with this machine right now? With this machine, we mostly are doing defense and aerospace parts. Okay. Yep. What about material groups? Can you put anything in it? Yeah, we run everything through this machine. We've had plastics, we've had titanium. Right now we're running stainless steel, aluminum, you name it. It does it all. Nice. And you're talking FAIs, which for anyone out there, they should all know, but it's first article inspections. So while you're waiting on that, how often does it come back that you have a lot of adjustments to do when it's, it's been set up in the Matsura? Not a lot. It, you set it up and it goes, things that, are accurate, things are dialed. That's as a great. machinist, that's a very important point. Not all machine tools can make that claim. Right, yes. So based on what your experience has been so far with the MX330 PC10, would you buy another one? Yes, definitely. Buy another one, possibly the bigger iteration. Okay. Maybe more pallets, like a MAM 52V, something like that. Great purchase. We've loved it so far. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Kelly. Yep. Thank you.